What's up, Bittersons? John here from the Killer Bits, and today I'm taking a look at Rise and Shine by Super Awesome Hyper Dimensional Mega Team, uh, or just Super Mega Team for short. This is a 2D arcade shoot 'em up sort of thing. I I'll dive into it, and you'll be able to see what I mean. But yes. When I first saw the trailer for this, I th thought, yes, I have to play this. It, it looks incredible. It's this kind of hand-drawn art style. All the, the kind of backgrounds and that are all hand-drawn. And it just has a really cool look and feel about it. Oh, eh, try and hit. There we go. And basically, you play as this kid. This is Rise. Uh, we'll get into a bit more info about who he is and what he does. I've got to reload, reload. Dash, dash. So yeah, it feels very arcadey. It's all set on the planet Game Earth, which is being invaded by the evil next gen. And it's got lots of references to classic games and things like that. So there you go, Game Earth has been invaded. And yeah, this is just a like single level <laughs> demo, but it gives you an incredible taste for the game. Rise, what? What are you doing here? You have to get away from the city. I'll try and talk properly. Tomox, are you alright? What happened? Listen, Rise, just listen to me. You have to get away from here as fast as you can. Do you understand me? Yeah, yeah, I hear you. But you don't seem... Just go, Rise. I'm already done for. I'll try and fly a little bit longer and distract that thing while you... So yeah, it is it is lots of kind of throwbacks. Think of this as Wreck-It Ralph if Wreck-It Ralph was a 2D hand-drawn platformer. And yeah, this big fella. This big fella is the bane of my existence. There you go, level 999. Yeah, we'll get to him in a bit. But first, the game. So one hour earlier. So here we are, just having a pleasant day in the mall, and then all shit kicks up. Off, oh, uh, 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 dive for cover. <laughs> Don't even blink. Uh, sure, just let me. Uh. So what you have to do is keep an eye out for stuff in the background. So look up there, we've got uh, Belmont's store. We've got Freeman's store. We've got like a Samus armor in the shop over there. So yes, there's lots of kind of homages and references to classic games. You are right, kid? The legendary warrior. Yeah, I'm fine. Huh. Glad to hear that. The bad guys got me pretty good this time. I'm afraid. No more respawns for me. <laughs> What's your name, man? I'm Rise. Rise. A fitting name for what lies ahead of you. That's exactly what you need to do. Rise against the space grunts and pray to the creators that our planet stays in one piece. But the space grunts from New Gen Planet have never done anything to us. Why are they destroying our city? <laughs> I don't know. Nobody knows. But listen to me. You have to carry Shine now. Shine's the sacred gun that will save us all. You need to take it to our king. He'll know what to do. Just take it, Rise. Shine is yours now. <gasps> I'm not. I can't. Look around, man. There's no one left alive. You just survived a direct attack by one of those bold mountains of muscle. You have to be brave for all of Game Earth now. Shine will give his carrier infinite respawns and more resistance than normal. He's in your hands now, man. You'll be... <laughs> All right. But if you were Shine's carrier, why aren't you respawning now? Ha, huh, clever kid. That's... <laughs> that's because... <laughs> so, it, it... Yeah, it, there is just something about this. I, I, I really like the style of it. It's it, there's a little bit of tongue in cheek and some referencing other games and things like that. 
Oh hell, looks like you and I are neck deep in a bath of crap right now, kid. What? Yep, perfect, just what I needed. A full-time babysitting gig. You're no legendary warrior. That much is crystal clear, but we'll make it work. All you have to do is get me to the king. I'll pipe up again if I see it, something you can use to our advantage. Just try not to get yourself killed, all right? That'd be your, that would ruin my afternoon. It would ruin my day as well. But that is one thing. This game is tough. <laughs> it even advertises that in the uh, trailer that you're going to die a lot. But the deaths are amusing. Lots of insta giving. If I can hit something, there we go. Uh, don't have to worry about ammo as well. It's infinite ammo. Oh, and I, you can actually do this as well. You can blow up bits of the scenery. But we keep reloading. So this is essentially what the game is. It is just run and shoot. But there is some skill involved. We're trying to avoid that. Yeah, so we can... Yeah, basically the, the whole planet is being bombarded. So there's there's stuff to avoid and there's enemies to... Okay. This is essentially teaching us what we'll need to know to defeat the boss. So this entire level is geared towards that. And then we've got like Guile's Gym in the background there. So like I said, there's lots of references to, you know, classic games. And just trying to avoid the bullets because we can maybe take two of those. But we can't take those big ones. But we can duck out the way. Do we get every one of them? I think so. Let me. Yeah, I'm, I'm probably loaded. Oh. So, the shooting, even though I'm crap at it, is really satisfying. Uh, try not to get shot. We we can take cover, but it it's a bit pointless. I I find it's just easier to try and avoid the bullets. We'll reload. Right. Where's the other guy? Come on, where are you? Ah. Yeah, I'm crap at the shooting. Don't worry about it. I'm, I'm going to die. But at least you'll get to see some of the amusing deaths. No, there's another guy here. And sometimes, yeah, he drops a grenade. So you have to watch out for that. Yeah, we're fully reloaded. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, like I said, I'm going to die. <laughs> okay. Oh, try and avoid getting shot. There we go. Just keep reloading, keep shooting. That's all you need to worry about. Try and take out this guy whilst he's, his back's turned. Come on, where are you? I don't want, there you go. There you go. No grenade drop this time? No, we're all right, okay. Uh, this is actually being done on Unity. Uh, no. As long as we avoid the bullets, we should be all right. <laughs> it seems like a simple statement, but yeah. There we go. Those guys are annoying. But um, yeah, th this just feels incredibly good to play. I mean, the, the frame rate's tanking a bit at the moment, but I think that might be fraps. It does run really smooth at 60. Oh yeah. Um, Basically, this is remote control bullets. I should really be talking, shouldn't be talking over these, but yeah, press up and down to switch between modes. So this is one of the main mechanics. Obviously, um, it is gamepad controlled. Basically, the main reason is so you can switch between ammo on the fly. So as you can see there, using the D-pad, select up, you get the RC bullet, deploy it, move, and then you can press right trigger to shoot it at super fast speed. So if we up, now you see the, this this is the area in which you can remote control it in so that so 
if you just let go of the right stick, it'll move slowly, but you can actually push and it'll move a bit quicker. Uh, we'll turn off remote control because we don't need that just now. We will reload though. It's always best to have a full charge. Any more? No, I think we're good. Okay. Uh, watch out! Please come closer. We are here to help. Uh, and there's no doubting that this that is a reference to the kind of turrets in Portal. So yeah, there again little nods to all the kind of games we know and love. Oh no, damn it! Uh, we need to hit it on the rope. There we go. And as always with these platformers, you always tend to go back to try and find secrets like this we've got basically we can hold an extra bullet in the chamber now as you can see so reload and we should have 11 bullets there we go uh, we want to turn off the remote control ammo that is one thing always make sure you're holding the right ammo at the right time And there you go. If you can get the headshot, uh, they, those guys down, go down pretty quick. Okay. Now this is where things start getting tricky. The barrels, not necessarily. But, uh, yes, that happens though. As I say, insta-gibbing. Right, what we do know, need is the, the auto, uh, the remote control ammo. And we need to go like that. Oh, try and avoid getting blown up. So it's it's knowing where the uh, explosions are going to come from, and then also giving yourself enough time to. Uh, can we get him? There we go. <laughs> it's just how the little eyeballs are bouncing down the hill. So again, that, that's that's part of the the Unity build, obviously. It, they're not quite physics objects, but it's it's got that kind of feel to it. Whoa! Do I load them? Use the left and right to switch between bullet types. Uh, okay, what do I do with these new bullets? They're going to change your diapers, for, uh, unfortunately. But they'll definitely screw up, up with all machines and robot-y things in some way. So basically, this is electric ammo. But I did see a chest up there, so let's go and grab the chest. And another bullet in the chamber. So let's reload. So as as I said, it it, it just looks great. I, I do really love this and the kind of all the hand drawn art style and that. It's just very cool. Uh, oh no, we don't want to turn off that. Quick move. Quick out the way, out the way. Oh, it's because we're on the wrong ammo. Uh, oh no! Uh, <laughs> so this is where it gets tricky. Oh no, ammo, ammo, ammo. <laughs> this is where concentration takes over. I'm gonna stop talking for a moment. Uh, uh. So as you, as you can probably tell, we basically need to charge up the door with the electric ammo. But it is just keep locking on, charging. Uh, uh. Oh, that was close. We do re regain health. Almost there. This would be very embarrassing if I suddenly died. There we go. And we're, we're, we're good. And there we Yeah, you just have to keep an eye out for all the kind of little game references. Let's see where this leads. 
Whoa. And there, there we go. We can see Pac-Man ghosts. We can see what, who else we got running around. Uh, is that a Golden X guy? We've got a Sonic underneath a blanket over there. Uh, we've got Atlas and what's name from Portal 2. So, yeah. Rise, Mom! Rise, I thought I'd lost you. I'm fine, Mom. Thanks to Shine, I've made it here alive. Sup? Huh. What about Dad? I haven't heard anything from him since the war started, but I'm sure he's alright. Dad is one of the best soldiers we have fighting for us out there. He'll come back. Rise, I'm glad you're okay, kid. Where did you find Shine? The legendary warrior gave it to me before he died. The Space Grunts killed him. Oh, that's very bad news indeed. How on Game Earth did the Space Grunts manage to kill the legendary warrior? He was supposed to have the respawning power that Shine gives its carrier. If the legendary warrior is dead, that means Shine carries you now, Rise. The moment you accepted the gun, a strong link with the guides was created. Now the guides control all your actions. Thanks to them, you might stand a chance against the grunts. But I'm afraid your union cannot be broken until the guide that gives control you decides to do so. That's why you can't give shine to another person for now. I'm sorry, Sam. But the legendary warrior told me to take the shine to the king. The king knows where the ultimate weapon resists. Rest, resists? Rests. Shine is the key to activate it. It is said that this weapon can destroy any menace our planet faces. I think this is as good a time as any to give it a whirl, eh? The problem is that you have to actually survive the journey to the fabled King's Palace. He'll then take you to the ultimate weapon and activate it. That way you'll save our planet and be free of Shine at the same time. Bam! You do realise I'm 10 years old, right? I barely know how to tie my shoes. Look, kid, I'd take shine for you if I could, but I'm not the master wizard I used to be. Can't even do 20 minutes without practically peeing my pants. You'll be fine, Rise. The guides will keep you safe, I promise. It's dangerous to go alone. Take Mega Badass with you <laughs> to the palace. He's already killed 300 space grunts on his way here. Right, soldier? Grrr. Okay, that settles it. Good luck, Rise. The lives of millions depend on you now, kid. Always wanted to say that. <laughs> Looks like I have to go save the planet, Mom. Might be late for dinner. I wish there was someone else's quest, Rise, but everyone on Game Earth receives the call to save the universe sooner or later. Just be safe, Rise, okay? I will, Mom. I'll see you soon. Goodbye, son. So, I don't even have to mention that one, do I? <laughs> So, of course, as I said, classic 2D game, always go back. Oh, look, and another secret. More yes. ammo. So now we've got 13 bullets in the game. There we go. I mean, with the hand-drawn art style and that, it does remind me a little of kind of clay stuff, you know, stuff like Shank and Mark of the Ninja. Yes. Good because it has that kind of feel to it but it's just the insta gibbs as well that <laughs> there goes our savior i guess that landmine was too badass for mega badass you're gonna have to be extra careful now looks like the space grunts have found a way to kill my carriers for good that's you right now in case you needed it spelt out so this is where things get a little more almost puzzle based and tricky because we have to do this now. We have to start guiding bullets through mazes uh, and it took me ages to try and work this out until I go, oh, th there looks like a breakable wall up there. Because it's n not that obvious. It's obvious when you know it's there. But when you're going along, you go, oh, look, there's a Block door. What do I do? Shoot it? No, it doesn't let you do that. So, yes. Let's negotiate this maze. Oh. We could go really slowly, but then it seems to be harder to control, in fact. It seems to be easier if you're actually pushing down on the uh, stick, in fact. 
there's cover there, so always be prepared for enemies. Ah, no, no, no. Make sure I've got enough bullets in the gun. <laughs> right, sneak along. Pretty sure there's another enemy. Come on, there you go. Yeah, thought so. And back to another maze. So turn on the remote ammo. And pop. Now let's see if I can do this first time. Probably not. So we have to blow him out of the way. And then it's. Uh, uh. Oh, no. As I say, it gets tricky. Uh, there we go. Oh, yes. I haven't been practicing that at all. But we're getting close to the big boss now. Do you need to... There are switch puzzles. Which I do find nice in this kind of game. It isn't all just run and gun. There is element of switch puzzles. So uh, try and avoid that bit. There we go. And I think we're going to need the electric camera, aren't we? So it is a, a relatively short demo, but it will probably take you a while first time just getting used to it yeah as you can probably guess <laughs> I know what's gonna happen next shit's gonna kick off this isn't the boss by the way that that is kind of an easy kill initially I thought do I have to stay on here do I have to remote control but no just climb on the thing and shoot it and Okay, and then, of course, there's Mario in the background. Big statue of Mario. So, yeah, I, I, I am really digging this. This, as I said, is currently in development. I think it's planned for... Oh, look, we've got a, a flappy bird up there. It's planned for release first half of next year. I don't know whether it's quarter one or quarter two. But, yes, this is going to be coming out soon. And let's just see how long I can last against the boss. So, right, and I know we want ammo, reload, shoot, 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 shoot. Yeah. Ah, there we go. Okay, we'll try this again. I'm going to give it a couple of goes. Come on, come on. reload get as many shots in on the head as possible you have to know his patterns okay it's those bullets uh, move out of the way ah I wasn't I was moving too slowly okay we'll do this again okay I want to at least get into the, the next phase and show you his ultimate yeah, no, we want that. We want load. Okay. Uh, no. Ah, uh, no. Okay. As you can imagine, if you don't turn off all the, the glowy spots. We're in trouble. Okay. Uh, now we have to do this bit. This is tricky. Ah, uh, no. Ah, uh, no. Ah, uh, no. Come on. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it before he recharges. There we go. Turn off the ammo. There. Ah, 
Reload, 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 reload. Uh, oh, it's this one. Ah, almost, almost got blasted to bits. There we go. Uh, come on. Okay. Oh, nope. there we go. Reload, blast his head. Okay. Yeah. And... Oh no, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Yep. Turn off that. Oh, get out of the way. Am I going to do this? Am I going to do this? I don't know. Oh, oh okay. M more many bullets to shoot. Uh, uh, get it. Get it. Reload. Kill his head. Kill his head. Kill his head. Okay. Can we do this? Oh, no. Uh, yay! And how about that to end the video? <laughs> That is actually the first time I managed to defeat him. I did a couple of runs just to check it actually worked and know what I was doing, but phew, what a lazy death animation. What whole trembling while exploding thing has been done to death, literally <laughs> and figuratively. I can't believe we just destroyed a huge killer robot. We kind of rock, right? Man, I've destroyed bigger and badder bosses with little more than a sneeze. Come on, kid, we still have to reach the palace. And a convenient little boat to send us on our way. So there you go. That is Rise and Shine. This is definitely one to keep an eye out on. I'm, I am. And yeah, it looks fantastic. Uh, the team at Super Awesome Hyper Dimensional Mega Team are doing a fantastic job, as are Adult Swim. Adult Swim are actually helping to put out a lot of very cool indies. So yes, do keep an eye on this. I definitely am. And if you like the video, obviously like the video, uh, subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And if you want to get in touch with us, you can do on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash the kilobits or on Twitter at the kilobits. All right. Catch you later, guys. Bye.